What's up everybody, Way of the Bay here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the B171 Super King Triple Booster Set. So today we're going to be taking a look at the B171 Super King Triple Booster Set. So this is a triple booster set, so this set comes with three Beyblades. The Beyblades in this set come with new and really good competitive parts, so if you're into competitive Beyblades, this is a set you might want to get. But first, let's take a look at the box before the Beyblades. So we see the three Beyblades in this set, Naked Diabolos 2, Curse Satan, and the new main Beyblade, Tempest Dragon. Tempest Dragon belongs to Drum the Blader down here, and both do show up in the Super King anime. This is a Takara Tomy product, so it's not Hasbro, this is Takara Tomy. And looking at the side of the box, or the back of the box actually, we see all the parts that the Beyblades come with. So we see the right spinning attack type Beyblade Tempest Dragon and the parts it comes with, the right spin attack type Beyblade Curse Satan and its parts, and the left spinning balance type Beyblade Naked Diabolos 2 and its parts. And down here we see Tempest Dragon's gimmicks. The Tempest Ring has blades that come out when making contact with other Beyblades and it increases its attack power. So that's pretty much what's on the box. Now we're going to open it up, take the Beyblades out, and take a closer look at the Beyblades and its parts. Alright, so we've opened it all up and here are all the Beyblades and their parts laid out. So you don't only just get the Beyblade, you also get the instructions for the Beyblades. The instructions just show you where to add the stickers and pretty much informs you about all the parts. You also get the sticker sheet. We have already added the stickers, but here is the sheet itself. It has a lot of stickers and I like how it has all three of the different sheets combined. And it looks really cool. And then we have the combo guide for this, the customized guide for this set. So over here we see Tempest, Dragon, and Drum. We also see some combos you can do with some of the latest parts that have been released. And also some advertisements and the new World Spriggan. So World Spriggan is the shadowy Beyblade you see right there and it's going to be a really awesome Beyblade. But that is pretty much everything else that the set comes with, now the Beyblades. So we have Tempest Dragon, Cursed Satan, and Naked Diabolos. So first we're going to start with the Naked Diabolos Beyblade. So we have Naked Diabolos right here. It is a left spinning balance type Beyblade. Let's start with the layer first. So the layer itself is the Naked Base, the Diabolos Chip, and the Goku Layer Weight. So the Naked Base is a really good defense type base. So this is a really nice base to get with this set. And it's black and red recolor looks really nice. The Diabolos 2 chip is the same that comes with Master Diabolos, but it's a nice red and black recolor. This just looks really nice and goes really well with the naked base. And you also get a really special layer weight. This is the Goku layer weight. This is the only way you can really get it easily, this customized set, because the other way you could get it was with a special slash Valkyrie Babel, I'm pretty sure and it had a golden Goku layer weight. And the reason the Goku layer weight is so special is it's the heaviest layer weight in GT. So that's really cool. And this is one of the only ways you can get it in this set. And this Goku layer weight is the heaviest. It's heavier than Sen and the Go layer weight. And it's a really balanced layer weight. So this is an awesome piece to get with Naked Diabolos 2. So putting it together, the base is Naked, the layer weight's Goku, and the chip is Diabolos 2. So that is the layer. The disc is the 11 disc. This disc can take frames, but this is just a normal disc. Nothing too special about it. It's pretty basic and normal. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. So it's a pretty good disc to get with this Beyblade. And then the driver. This is actually a new driver. This is the Wave Driver. It's all completely black. Here's the little sticker right there. And the driver is pretty weird. So the driver has a tip right there. It also has some very jaggy, I guess, blades all around the tip of it, sort of like the jaggy driver. And it also has a defense-like ring around it. This is a balance type driver, so the tip is sort of stamina-like. The jagginess around it is attack, and the ring itself here is for defense when it's running low on stamina and to defend from other attacks. So this is a very wacky driver. It's called the Wave Driver, and it has 
sort of things from both attack, stamina, and defense type drivers. So I can definitely see how this is balanced type. So I cannot wait to see how this does in the stadium because it just looks really crazy. And this could be a really great driver or just a normal one. So I can't wait to see how this does. But that is Naked Diabolos 2, Goku 11, and the Wave Driver. So this is just one of the Beyblades in this set. And overall, it looks really cool. I can definitely see how this is a balanced type Beyblade. And when we're, we're testing this Beyblade out, I can't wait to see how it does. But now let's go on to the next Beyblade. So now on to the next Beyblade. And the next one we take a look at is Curse Satan 1D Arrow Dash Hold Dash. So this is another right spinning attack type combo. The last Beyblade was part of the GT layer system. This one is part of the Super King layer system. So first take a look at the layer. It comes with a one defense chassis. This is a nice purple recolor of the 1D chassis. This is an LR singular chassis. So that means it is able to take discs. The layer itself is Curse Satan. So the ring is cursed and the chip is Satan. The ring itself is a nice green and yellowish color and it has some purple stickers. This is a defense ring, so these little plastic pieces right here defend from attacks. And there's five all around the Beyblade. This is a right spin ring, so it only takes right spin chips. And the chip itself is really nice. It definitely matches the whole combo itself. It's silver, green, and purple. This is the Satan chip, and it looks really cool. Here it is. It does come with a gray and silver, or silver looking and gold chip. So that's really cool. And overall, it's just a really nice chip. So Curse Satan 1D, that is the layer of the Beyblade. The disc is Arrow Dash. So this is another disc that can take a frame. The Arrow Dash driver is not really that common. This is a pretty special disc as well. This is not brand new, but it's not very common as well. Arrow Dash, I don't really know much about the disc except that it came with Amaterios, one of the Amaterios combos. And overall, it's a really cool disc to get in this set. And the driver is hold dash. Dash means the spring is a lot tighter, so its clicks are gonna be stronger and it's gonna be harder to burst. This is the hold dash driver. It is an attack type driver and it's a nice purple recolor. Definitely matches the whole combo color scheme. And the attack type driver of this is pretty good. Definitely not as great as Destroy, but it's still a pretty good driver. And with this combo, it's definitely going to be pretty aggressive in the stadium. So that is the Curse, Curse Satan combo. This is right spin and attack type part of Super King. So that is the second combo. Now let's take a look at the main Beyblade, Tempest Dragon. And finally, last but not least, we have Tempest Dragon. So here are its parts. It is only two main parts, but it does come with a double chassis. And double chassis means it takes the place of a disc. So it has a whole disc gimmick there. So that's why there is no disc with Tempest Dragon. So we have Tempest as the ring, Dragon as the chip, 1A as the chassis, and Charge Metal as the driver. Charge Metal and Tempest Dragon are new parts in the set. So first, let's take a look at the layer. So the ring is Tempest. This is the Tempest ring. It is a really nice ring. Definitely it resembles Imperial and Ace combined. And it looks really cool. The gimmick is when the Beyblade makes contact or is spun really quickly, these blades will come out. So this blade comes out first and this locks that blade into place. Same thing on the other side. The blade comes out and this goes there and it locks into place. To unlock it after battle, you just push this blade down first and the other one will go down and it's down. So that's the blade gimmick and it's really cool. This is a really great attack type ring. It is only right compatible, so it only takes right chips. But this is a really nice ring. I do like the rainbow stickers that you add to it from Imperial Dragon or Master Dragon 2's Rainbow Turbo and all that. So this is really cool. And the gold on this is really nice as well. So the Tempest ring looks really nice. The dragon chip is really cool. So we have the dragon chip right here. Nothing too special about the dragon chip so far that I know of. It's just a normal chip, right spin only, and it comes with a red chip core. So this is the dragon chip. Putting it together, it is Tempest Dragon. So this is a really nice layer. And the chassis is a blue recolor of the 1A chassis. So 1A means one attack. And this is a right chassis only. 
right there you can see the R and it's pretty good here are its teeth right there and just a nice blue recolor definitely matches um, Tempest Dragon's whole color scheme and the driver is charge metal so we have charge we have charge dash now charge metal so Takara Tomy does do this they grab drivers that have plastic and add metal to it so charge did originally have metal on it here is charge and then they added even more metal so this is a really cool upgrade this is sort of hollowed out and that'll definitely increase its speed in the stadium so the upgrade from charge to charge metal is just really cool yeah this is a really cool driver we have regular and then you just upgrade it to make it look amazing so this is a really cool driver to come with tempest dragon so tempest dragon 1a charge metal so that is pretty much the whole set and its parts. Now let's actually compare the Tempest layer or Tempest Dragon layer to the other dragons of the past. So here's the Tempest Dragon layer. We have the Imperial Dragon layer and we also have the Ace Dragon layer. So yes, it definitely resembles both. We have the shape of the Ace or Tempest has the shape of Ace and it sort of has the gimmick of Imperial. So Imperial Dragon and Ace Dragon are pretty good attack types and both combined will make an awesome attack type and here we are with Tempest Dragon. So this is an amazing layer. We do have all the charges as well. We have Charge, Charge Metal and the Charge Dash Driver. So Charge definitely got a lot of attention with these latest sets. We got Charge Metal and Charge Dash. And just overall, this is a pretty good attack type driver. With this Charge Metal Driver, we're going to have to test it out to see how great it is. But overall, this is a pretty awesome set. So now that we've taken a look at all the Beyblades, we're going to test launch them in the Basic Sakartomi Stadium. All right, so here we are at the Basic Sakartomi Stadium. We're going to be test launching the three Beyblades, starting with Tempest Dragon. Ready, three, two, one, let's rip. And around the stadium it goes with lots of attack power. Tempest Dragon is a pretty heavy Beyblade, so it's not going to get knocked around very easily. But that was how Tempest Dragon launches. Now let's try the attack type Curse Satan. Ready, three, two, one, let's go. Alright, so how Curse Satan moves is as if it had the Volcanic Dash Driver, but the Volcanic Driver was a little calmer. And let's see. Yes, it did run out of stamina pretty quickly, so... Hold dash probably just is better when it's in contact. But now let's try Naked Diabolus 2 with the brand new Wave Driver. Ready, three, two, one, right, right. All right, so you won't see the attack type and the defensive side of Wave if you're just launching it because the tip is the only thing. But once it gets hit, hit around, the jagginess of the Wave Driver will definitely hit the rim of the stadium go around. And when it's running low on stamina, then you'll see the defensiveness of the driver. So just launching it definitely won't see the potential that the Wave Driver has. But now let's do some battles. That way we can see how the Beyblades do in combat. All right, so now we're going to start the test battles. We have Naked Diabolus 2 going up against Prime Apocalypse. Ready, three, two, one, ready. All right, Naked Diabolus getting hit around the stadium, then into the pocket. Ready, three, two, one, ready. All right, even with the heavy Goku layer weight, it is still thrown around by Prime Apocalypse. Going down the stamina, we can finally see the driver in action. Ooh, that was a draw. So that is sort of how the Wave Driver will act in the stadium. Definitely moving around with a lot of spin. So now let's go on to Curse Satan. Alright, so now for the second battle, we have Curse Satan going up against King Helios. Ready, 3, 2, 1, let's rip. Alright, so Curse Satan dealing some small attacks. The balance type King Helios is getting thrown around. So Curse Satan does have a lot of movement in the stadium. It's going down to stamina, so we'll see how much stamina the whole dash driver has. Ooh, and is able to outspin King Helios. So yes, that is a pretty good driver when it comes to stamina. So now let's try Tempest Dragon. 
All right, so now we have Tempest Dragon, and Tempest Dragon is going to go up against Death Diabolos. Rival battle. Ready. Three, two, one, ready. All right, both Beyblades land in the stadium. Tempest Dragon going around the ring of the stadium. Ooh, both Beyblades making contact in the center now. Ooh, and Death Diabolos is out of stamina. So one point to Tempest Dragon. Ready, three, two, one, ready. Ooh, now we see Ace or Tempest Dragon's attack. Ooh, Death Diabolos out of stamina once again. Ooh, that was a powerful hit right there. So that's another point to Tempest Dragon. Now we're gonna try and see how Tempest Dragon does with its blades on. Ready, three, two, one, ready. Ooh, really aggressive. Ooh, and Death Diabolos out of stamina. Ooh, and it did hit the blades in. All right, so Tempest, Drag or Tempest Dragon's blades being hidden, it did a lot of powerful attacks. So that was pretty much all the battles for this video. So overall, the drum booster, the triple booster set, had lots of great parts. The Goku Layer Weight, the new Wave Driver, the Hold, dri hold Dash Driver is pretty good, and Tempest Dragon itself you can definitely make a lot of great attack type combos. Charge Metal, really cool. And just overall, this was a really great set. Let me know down below who your favorite Beyblade of the three were. But that's all we have for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching Way of the Bay.